boys and girls, you're very welcome to Holy Bible Club 2020. Over the years, we've been having our Holy Bible Club in Five Mile Town College, but because of COVID-19, we have decided to run our Holy Bible Club this year as an online event. We're very thankful to Phil Harden and his team who have put together wonderful Holy Bible Club videos with all of your favourite Bible stories and quizzes. And there's some exercises as well. There's worksheets, so keep an eye out for those and your mum and dad will be able to download those. So you ask your mum and dad to watch out every day on our Facebook page or our WhatsApp group and you'll be able to download the videos and the worksheets and plenty of great exercises for you to get on with. They're going to be available every day from the 24th of August for five days right through to the Friday and those are going to be released every day at 10 o'clock. If you have any questions, if you want to get through to Phil or you want to talk to me or you have anything you want to say to us through the course of the week there's going to be an email address and there's going to be a phone number given out at the end and you can send us through a message and we will get back to you and just make sure your mum and dad are aware that that message is going through or ask them to do that for you. So I really hope you enjoy Holiday Bible Club 2020 and we'll ask Phil now to release the videos for the course of the week. Okay boys and girls, welcome to High Five Bible Club. We're going to make a start and today what are we looking at? Well we think about High Five, we think about our five fingers and we're going to look at the very first one and it's going to be that God is holy. What does that mean? We're going to find out a little later. But before we do that, I want to do our prayer drill, okay? So we're going to pray. So are you ready? Stand up, let's go, shake out your hands and are we ready? P R A why? And then we would bow our heads like this. Did you get that? Okay, so let's try this. Okay, so let's try our prayer drill. So after two, one, two. P R A Y. Let's pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. We thank you for every boy and girl that's tuned in um, to our virtual Bible club today. We pray that you will be with them and that you will bless us all today. And we pray for our families and we pray for those that are maybe unwell at the minute, those that are struggling and those that need the touch of the master's hand. We just pray, dear Lord, today that you'll be with each one. And if there's somebody here today and they still don't know the Lord Jesus as their saviour, we pray that they will trust the Lord Jesus today. Lord, be with us now. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Okay, here we go. Okay, boys and girls, today we are learning about how God is holy. And here's a good verse for you to learn. And we're going to say after two. One, two. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Okay, you've said that really well, but I want you to say it really loud. Louder that you wake your neighbours up. Uh, and they'll be thumping the walls. So let's go. After two, one, two. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3 Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. Really, really good this time. Uh, so now we're going to we're gonna clap instead of saying the words of this next one, and we're not gonna say the words Lord of hosts. We're just gonna clap, okay? So after two, one, two. 
utter. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3, Holy, holy, holy is the... The whole earth is full of his glory. Hope you clapped at this time. Okay, so this time we're going to say it. Uh, and I'm going to clap the word and you're going to guess what word I clapped, okay? So after two, one, two. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his... What was the word I clapped? Can you think of it? Glory. Yes, that's right. The whole earth is filled with his glory. So one more time, very quick. The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 6, verse 3, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord of hosts. The whole earth is full of his glory. strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do my god is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do the rivers are his the mountains are his the stars are his and he works too my god is so big so strong and so mighty there's nothing my god cannot do Hi, boys and girls. Does anyone see the picture? There's a picture there, and the picture reminds me of, well, it reminds me of a lovely evening, a sunset. And you see, every, every day I come to speak to you guys, I'm gonna have a different picture, and it's gonna be somewhere in Northern Ireland. So I don't know if you'll be able to guess where it is. This one here, I'll tell you where it is, because it's the hardest one. And this is actually in a place called Cullybacky. It's a way out of there, out of Belfast. But listen, each day I want you to guess it. If you can't, if you don't know, I want you to run and find someone that does in your house, okay? And see if you can get it right. But when I think about this picture, it reminds me that someone must have made that sunset that I see in that picture. I look at it and I look at the colours and I look at all the detail in a sunset. Maybe you've looked out your bedroom window or you've looked out out over your garden in the evening and you saw a sunset just like this. Well, it's so amazing, isn't it? In fact, it makes me think there must be a designer. Someone designed this, someone created it. In fact, when I left this book, and this is my book, but it's, it's just mine because I was given it, but when I think about this, it's called the Holy Bible. And the Holy Bible is really God's book, God's word, I'm going to look up God's word or look up the very start of it. And the first book tells us in Genesis chapter 1 and verse 1, we do here, it says, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Who is the creator? Who does it say? Who? God, exactly right. God created the heavens and earth. What an amazing God that we read off in God's word. You know, God didn't only make the whole world and the, he made the sunrise and the sunsets, but he also made two people. The very first two people were Adam and Eve. And he put them in a beautiful garden, but it goes on to say that they disobeyed God. They disobeyed him. They didn't do what God wanted them to do. See, God loved them, but even so, they, they went their own way. And their sin separated them from God. Sin is simply the wrong things that they've done, boys and girls, they've done wrong. And when we do wrong, the Bible calls that sin as well. In fact, there's no sin, the Bible tells us. There's no sin where God is, the Bible tells us. Our sin separates us from God. It was as if, boys and girls, in that garden, that when they sinned, they were separated between, from God. God could look in their sin and he puts them out of the garden. They're punished for it and they're put away. They're separated from God. I've got this here. What's this? Do you know what it is? See a bit closer. What's that? It's a torch. 
and a torch. Well, let me see if it will work. Yeah, there we go. There's a little torch on. And the little torch, well, it reminds me of going on holidays. And I wonder, do you ever go to, have you ever went on a, to a caravan and you go down to that caravan for your holidays and maybe it's coming evening time and you say to your mum, I need to go, I'm going over to the, the, the showers now or I'm going over, to, going over to the toilet over at the shower block there and you're going over and you're, maybe your brother or sister says, I'm coming too. And you run over uh, and you get all washed up and then you're coming back across and you, oh, it's dark now, it's dark. And you say to maybe, here, I'll race you. Do anybody like racing? I used to love racing, right? And you get down, run! And you're racing each other back in the dark of the caravan and you're running faster and faster. Ah, oh, oof! Down you go! And you slip on the muddy grass and you get up again and you say, I'm okay, I'm all right. And they say, that's good. And your brother, her sister's got a torch, got their torch and they put it on this time and and you feel okay, you look okay, you feel that anyhow, but they shine a torch on you and it reveals all the mud. You're covered in mud and you're all filthy with all the mud. You see, the wee torch, it shines up and shows us how we really are when we're covered in mud. It shows us all the filth and all the dirt. And that just reminds me, boys and girls, like the Bible. When we open up the Bible, it's God's word. And it's pure. It says in the front of the Bible, Holy Bible. Uh, and that means it is pure because it's God's word. And as we read it, each page, we begin to discover that we're not just as good sometimes as we feel. And it reveals to us that we do do wrong things and that we sin just like Adam and Eve. In fact, in Romans 3 and 23, it tells us, for all have sinned, all of us. That includes you. It includes me. You see, as I said, our sin, just like Adam's and Eve's, it separates us from a holy God. You see, we're not good all the time, and we sin, but God is good. He is holy. You see, I've got something else in my hand here. You probably didn't notice it, but if you look there in my fist, you will see there's a ring. Now, it's not a really expensive ring because it's not pure gold, but if that was a pure gold ring, that ring would, be, would have been made in a furnace. It first of all would have been discovered in the ground, maybe as a nugget, dug up, put into the furnace, heated to hundreds of degrees, and what happens in that furnace is, and that gold is in this pot in the furnace, and all of the impurities, all of the old mud and spits of stone and all sorts of things come to the top, and the man that's there, he will scrape that all off and throw it out. And he's left in that little cauldron. He's left with the pure gold. And when that hardens, that could be taken then, taken then and formed into a ring of pure gold. You see, all the impurities are taken out. It's pure. It reminds us of God. He is holy. He is pure. In fact, there's a story that we can read in the Bible in Isaiah. And in Isaiah... Isaiah sees the Lord. He sees God himself. And boys and girls, there are angels there. And there's an angel, and the angel's there. And here's what the angel says. Wait for it. He says, holy, holy, holy is the Lord. The whole earth is full of his glory. And what does the angel do? As it's saying that, it covers its face. In God's presence, you see, it was so holy and so bright in God's presence like shining gold that it couldn't look in God. Boys and girls, God is holy. And, and in fact, it made Isaiah realise that how unholy, how unclean he was. He shouts out, oh, I'm a man of unclean lips. But you know, God loves, loved Isaiah he loves Adam and Eve. And even though he had to punish Adam and Eve, he still loved them. And God still loves you and I, even though we do do things wrong, even though we do sin. Sin is some, some of the things that we think, we say, or we do that displeases God and breaks his law. Boys and girls, but God done something. In his love, he, was, he would send his son. He would send his son to take our place. Think about it this way. 
right? I've got this with me, it's a flag, okay? And when I think about the flag, I think about a football match. Uh, and in the football match, maybe there's a boy, one of the players hits the ball, it goes out of play, and what happens is, flag goes up from the linesman, and maybe there's a big board goes up then next, if it was Premier League stuff, and there would be a number of the person that's going to come off. And then there would be another player from the bench that hadn't been playing, he would be brought on. And that's called the, what, what do you call that? Come on boys, girls, come on. What do you call that? What's actually happened there? The something is coming on, the substitute is coming on. Isn't that right? See, one that's maybe injured is coming off and the substitute is coming on. And that reminds us what the Lord Jesus has done for you and I, boys and girls. He has taken your place, the sinner's place. In fact, boys and girls, it tells us if we ask the Lord Jesus to forgive our sin, he will forgive us because he has paid the price and the debt of our sin. If we ask Jesus to come into our hearts to be our saviour, the Bible tells us, he will forgive. He will save us for all eternity, forever and ever. And we can go to be with the Lord Jesus someday at the end of our lives. Isn't that amazing? There's no other way but trusting in the Lord Jesus. The Bible puts it this way. I wonder, can you spot the missing word? Because some might know this first. For God so loved the... What is it? The world. That he gave his only, his only begotten son, the Lord Jesus, that whosoever believeth in him, including you and I, should not perish, but have everlasting life. That's God's promise. I wonder, will you trust him if you haven't already? Ask him to forgive your sin, all the wrong that you've done. He will forgive you because he is holy. God's own son, the Lord Jesus, he took and he paid the price for your sin and he can forgive you today. That's good news. Does anyone know? Well, we need to hear this. We need to hear this. A wee lad from Belfast goes to church with his mum and as he walks into church, he looks up and he sees a big window and the big window, there is a person in it and as he looks at that, he says to his mum, who's that? And his mum looks up and goes, well, I think that's one of the Bible characters. In fact, it says there, it's St. John. John, who wrote the book of John in the Bible. So the wee boy thinks, okay. He goes on in the church, goes to Sunday school. The teacher asks a question, does anybody know what a saint is? And the wee lad puts his hand up and he says, a saint is someone the light shines through. You see, he had saw that window and he had saw that person on it whose mum said was John, St. John, and the light was shining through. And that reminded him, that must be what a saint is. His teacher had a little bit of a giggle. But in some ways he was right. You see, the Bible tells us that each one that trusts the Lord Jesus to forgive their sin is not only saved, but then it becomes a saint. A saint. A saint is not someone that's a whole lot better than you. A saint is just someone that's been forgiven by the Lord Jesus. And so we should all be like that glass window. We should have the light of God's word shining from us. As we read the Bible, we should bring light into a very dark world. And we should be making a difference for God in our world, in our classroom, in our school, and even out in our street or wherever you live. I wonder today, if you trust in the Lord Jesus, do you know him as your saviour? I trust that you do and that you'll go on to shine and let your light shine for Jesus. Thank you for listening. Okay, boys and girls, uh, I hope you listen really, really well to Phil's story because I've got a quiz. I've got four questions for you. Uh, I've got myself here uh, a Super Nintendo controller, uh, which I used to play loads of games like Space Invaders. And I've got four critters here on the screen. And whenever you get a question right, we're going to press one of these buttons and see if we can zap them. Okay, so we're going to divide you into two teams. Uh, one for, the, for you guys and one for the older ones. The ones at home maybe, they want to join in. They can be team two and we can see if we can beat them. Okay, so question one for, uh, for you younger ones. 
Let's go to question number one. And question number one is, when we looked at the sunset that Phil showed, what did it show, Phil? That there must be a what? What did it show, Phil? Does anybody know? Yes, it shows that there must be a creator or a designer. So really well done. We're going to press the yellow button and see what it does. Oh, there's one gone. Let's see how much you got. Good job, you did really well there. Let's see how the adults do. So on the older ones, let's see if they were listening. So question number two, what separates us from God? What separates us from God? If you know it, don't tell the adult. So what separates us from God? That's right, it's our sin, our sin. So we pressed the yellow one last time, so we're gonna press the red one. Boop. Oh. There he goes again. Uh, that was even better that time. That was even better. You're going to have to do really well in this next one. Okay, so question number three. So we said about the prophet Isaiah, or Phil said about the prophet Isaiah, he was in the presence of God and the angels were doing something. What were the angels doing? What were the angels doing in the presence of God? That's right. They were covering their faces like that, they were covering their faces like that. Really well done. So we press the yellow and we press the red. Now we're going to press the green and let's see. Oh, that she shot back up again. I like that score. Okay, so the final questions for the adults and let's see. So the final question is, what did the little boy say a saint was? What did the little boy say a saint was? Do you know? The little boy said that it was someone the light shines through. Someone the light shines through. Okay, so the final, final wee critter there is going to get zapped here. And the blue button. Bang. Oh, not as good this time. So this is the final scores here. Really well done. Really well done. You did a fantastic job. And I enjoyed zapping them myself. So really good. Good to see you. And see you the rest of the week. Hi boys and girls. So we're just going to sing another wee song here with some actions. And if you would join in along with me and do the actions, that would be great. So this wee song is called His Mercy Is More. And it's about the Lord Jesus Christ and about how we are all born in sin. Um, none of us are perfect, we all do things that are wrong, we all do things that are naughty and we all do things that get us in trouble a lot of the time but you know our Father in Heaven, the Lord Jesus Christ, he sees everything that we do and he sees all the bad things that we do and he sees all the good things that we do but you know our Father in Heaven loves us so much that he has mercy upon us and that he forgives us our sins. If we pray to God and ask him to forgive us, he will. So we're just going to sing this wee song and um, I would love it if you sing along and join in the actions. Boys and girls, a big part of Summer Bible Club is always our activities and the games outside. 
Now, we can't do that just the same as before, but what we can do, we can still get a little bit of exercise and get outdoors. Hopefully it's not raining where you're at. Even if it is, you can do some of these little activities inside. Talk to someone, your mom, your dad, or whoever's at home for you, and you may need to rearrange some things indoors. But listen, I want you to have fun, I want you to enjoy, and I want to thank the people that have put all of these little activities together. Thank you. Are you ready to go? Okay, let's go. Here we go. Oh! Good morning boys and girls, I hope you're ready for your workout today. I've got two people with me, Joel and Eden. Brilliant, and they're gonna help us today with the bean game. But before we do the bean game, we're gonna have our workout. We're gonna do some stretches and get us all ready for it. So are you ready? Okay, give yourselves a big stretch. Up to the top, down to the bottom, and then from side to side, side to side, and one more down to the bottom. Brilliant. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to show you the actions for all the beans before we start running about and playing the game. So we've got runner bean, baked bean, French bean, jelly bean, frozen bean, broad bean, microwave bean, string bean, jumping bean, chili bean. Brilliant. Okay, we're ready to start. Here we go. Run about now. Okay, I've got runner bean. French bean. Oh la la. Frozen bean. Ready? Where you go again? Run about. Broad bean. String bean. Chili bean. Jumping bean. Okay, you're doing really well at this. I think we're going to have to get faster. Okay, start running again. Jelly bean. Frozen bean. Broad bean. Jumping bean. Runner bean. Big bean. Oh, that was too close to call. Let's try again. You ready? Run about again. Chili bean. Jumping bean. String bean. Big bean. Oh, I think it was maybe Joel was just down quicker that time. Let's go again. Brilliant. Jelly bean, broad bean, jumping bean, runner bean, chili bean, jumping bean, chili bean, frozen bean, broad bean, baked bean. Oh, I think Eden got a bit mixed up. Brilliant. Well done, Joel. We'll have one more go. Are you ready? String bean, chili bean, jumping bean, frozen bean, broad bean, baked bean. Brilliant. Well done, Joel. I think maybe you were the winner of that game. Okay, guys, give yourselves a high five. Excellent. And I hope you enjoyed the broad bean game today. Well done, guys.